Hi, this is Pete Freitag with Foundeo Inc. I wanted to give you a quick video to show you how to update Java on your ColdFusion server. So I've got a ColdFusion 2018 server uh, running Windows 2016. The first step you want to do is make sure that you've got ColdFusion updated to the latest uh, hotfix. Um, the reason for that is certain versions of Java um, might not work depending on what version of ColdFusion you have. So for example, uh, ColdFusion 2018, it ships with uh, Java 10.0, uh, and Update 2 adds support for Java 11. So uh, I'm running Update 3 here, which is the latest at the time, but you want to make sure you've always updated to the latest version uh, of ColdFusion first before updating Java. Okay, so to see what version of Java you have running, you can click on this little eye up here, and then it will tell you the Java version. So I'm running uh, Java 11.0.1, .1, and which is the the default that came with this particular installer. So typically, what I would do up until before 2019 it would be to go to java.oracle.com and download the latest version of Java. Uh, so you can see right now Java 11.0.2 is the latest one. Uh, but Oracle has made some changes to their licensing recently that uh, you, you should be aware of. And the main change is that they don't no longer allow um, commercial use of Java 11 without a license. So Adobe and Oracle have a licensing deal uh, set up. For ColdFusion customers, um, you'll want to check out this blog post here, and I'll post a link to it in the comments. And so, the way what that means is the way that you want to get Java now is to go to the ColdFusion downloads page, and you can get to that by just searching ColdFusion downloads and grab all the way down at the bottom, I believe. This is where you'll find the latest. Um, version of Java supported. So Java 11 would be what you'd want to use if you're on ColdFusion 2016 or ColdFusion 2018. And if you're on an older version of ColdFusion, then you probably want to stick with Java 8. Um, I don't believe ColdFusion 11 was updated to support Java 11, so there might be some issues with trying that. So, uh, But in this case, You'll see here, we also have two options. These are both 64-bit uh, versions, but one's a zip and one's an exe. So the, the exe is the full Java installer. Um, that installs things that you might not necessarily need on a server, for example, the Java plugin for web browsers. So uh, I like to just go with the, the zip version. So you can go ahead and download that. And I've already done that. So. So here's the, the zip file that we just downloaded. Okay, so we've extracted it now, and I'm going to copy this folder here. And what I'm going to do is just create a, let me delete this here. Um, I just have created a directory, C colon Java, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, and then you're going to paste in this folder. All right, so you should have like a bin directory and a lib directory in the folder. And what we'll do is we'll copy that path. Um, it's always a good idea to copy the path rather than trying to type it in from memory. <clears throat> So now to update the path, we'll go to the server settings and under Java and JVM for the Java Virtual Machine path. And we'll just paste that in and submit changes. Okay, so it's telling us now that we need to restart ColdFusion for the changes to take effect. We'll go ahead and restart 
the ColdFusion 2018 application server. All right, so while that's downloading, um, so my company, Foundale, makes a product called Hack My CF. And one of the things this does is it runs a continuous security scan on your servers. And so if, for example, you're wondering, oh, how do you know when the new version of Java comes out that needs to be updated? Uh, Hack My CF will send you an email when the version of Java you're running has a security vulnerability in it. So it keeps track of things like that and can alert you uh, to things like that. Let's see if they restart it. No, we're still restarting. So I'll just scroll through this in case you're curious the kinds of things that this picks up in the report. So we're starting. Okay, so cold patient has restarted, and let's head back over to the administrator. And it's probably going to make us log in again since we've restarted. So it's always a good sign that Cold Fusion actually comes back up. If you had a typo in the past, um, then you would have to uh, find the jvm.config file and uh, update the path in there to point to your previous failure. All right, so you can see now we've updated from 11.0.1 .1 to 11.0.2, and we're seeing that we're using the Oracle version of Java. All right, so uh, another version of Java that you could potentially use if you don't want to deal with Oracle licensing issues is Amazon Coretto. And this is a, um, a long-term support release by Amazon that supports Java 8 and Java 11 at this time. Um, so you can go ahead and download. Again, they've got the zip file, which will be similar to what you would find with the Oracle download. And so inside the zip is a JDK 11.0.2 underscore 9 folder. So I can take that. Okay, so and then inside here we should have a bin and a lib folder. And let's say I want to switch and get Coretto a try. Let's just go back to my administrator. Java and JVM. Paste in the new path. Start cold fusion. Okay, so cold fusion's been restarted and we've updated our JVM path. Let's go back to the cold fusion administrator. Okay, now we're going to log into the cold fusion administrator. And now when we go to the system information page, we'll see our Java version is still 11.0.2, but it's um, the Amazon distribution uh, running Corel. All right, so that updates Java for the main ColdFusion service. Now you'll notice here I also have the ColdFusion 2018 add-on services running, and those are used for Solar or the CF HTML to PDF tag. And so those actually also use Java, and there's, there's no easy way to specify what version of Java you're using for those, but you can also update Java for those as well. So you're going to go into the, your Cold Fusion installation directory, 
into your C Fusion folder and then Jetty. All right, and then you're going to look for a file called jetty.lax. And we'll open this. There's Notepad. And we're going to look for the JRE. So it's looking here for the path to java.w.exe. So let's go back to our java current one we're using and we should have a java w.exe is right here so but we need this path here we'll copy that now you'll notice here that the flashes are escaped that's very important as well, and actually, it's not a bad idea to um, to take your make a backup of these files before you make these changes. So, so it's the Fusion Jetty Jetty .lax. and I'm just gonna copy that put into our documents or something. Alright, so we're going to replace this bin path with our new bin path. Again, making sure that we escape our backslashes properly. Save. And that restarts pretty quickly, and it's all set. So that has restarted, and it's back up and running with uh, an updated version of Java. So you want to make sure that you're updating Java whenever there's a security uh, vulnerability in the JVM. So in that. Typically, Oracle releases patches um, as frequently as every quarter, so you want to keep an eye on that. And whenever you're doing Cold Fusion updates, it's not a bad idea to also check and see if there's a Java update. Or, or again, you can use something like Hack My CF, which will give you more of an instant uh, type of notification when the version of Java you're using is out of date. Okay, thank you.